Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome to another tutorial where today we will be building this restaurant. I made a video earlier today talking about my brand new computer. Um, obviously the graphics are much better. I'm playing with shaders. The texture quality is improved, which is why I have another copy over here. I had originally made a video for that, but um, decided to wait since I had ordered this right after I uh, f finished recording that video pretty much. But this is the restaurant that we will be making. We will do we will be doing this in multiple parts, with the first part being the main building, walls, roof, ceiling, windows, floor, all that good stuff. And then the next episode we will move to the interiors of it, and then we can wrap it up with the outside. Uh, this is gonna be a very fairly straightforward build. I expect it to go pretty quickly since I've already built it twice basically. I'm going to be building it right over here and I will start with going over the materials. For today's build you will need magenta concrete, oak logs, coal ore, magenta stained glass, pink stained glass, smooth stone, black glazed terracotta, black wool and cobblestone slabs there are a few more materials down the road for today's part but these are the main ones for getting the structure in place there's also a link for the texture pack down below it's a 1.14 texture pack it should work in 1.15 it does require optifine so i will also leave a link for a video on how to install that the first thing we want to do is take our magenta concrete and we are going to place the front entrance so this is going to be the front if you were standing here you would be walking through the doors right here and to do this we want to take our magenta concrete and place one two three four in a row just like that oh shoot i forgot to uh, see how tall it is i got all the uh, side dimensions uh, laid out but I didn't count the height so it is six blocks tall so we will do five more on top of this so one two three four and five six blocks tall right here carve out a spot for the door a two by two um, space right here and by two by two I mean when you're facing it so that is where the front door is going to be on either side of that place oak logs going all the way up i think these go up one block above just like this next what we want to do is take our coal ore and place going towards the back um five or sorry one two three three coal ore going towards the back just like this and then we are going to again build it up leaving the middle block open um, we are gonna have a window there so kind of outline it um, the same height as the magenta concrete for this don't go up to the oak logs that's how it should look it should be a four block tall gap for the window um, Maybe I should turn off shaders. I didn't actually think about that. Um, yeah, it might be easier for you guys to see. Yeah, that should be easier. Okay, there we go. Now we're up to uh, about 500 FPS. <laughs> All right, um, next take some oak logs, place them next to the coal ore on the back side over here as well. Now we are going to go out to the left and to the right with our coal ore. Oh shoot, I made a mistake. Wreck the coal ore that we placed around the window. Leave that bottom row, but replace that coal ore with magenta. I forgot. I did a coal ore bottom, as you can see right along there. The bottom row is coal ore, and then the rest of the walls are magenta. 
So place those in and then go back to the coal ore. We are going to go to the left and to the right on both sides. Six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And same thing over here. This is with the coal ore. On top of these, we are going to place magenta. Although we are going to have a window that is four blocks wide. So just two pillars of magenta concrete on each side connected across the top. Let's do the same thing over here. So build it up. Line it up with that same height that's going all the way around so far. And then connect it. Next, we are going to place our oak logs again, and if you can't tell by now, all the corners, interior and exterior, are going to be oak logs. Alright, now we are going to come to the left side, and we are going to build a nice long wall right here. Um, not super long, um, but somewhat long. And this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to say 13. I think that's what it is. 13 blocks of magenta concrete on the left side going towards the back. Oh, nope. Oh, I keep getting this mixed up. It's coal ore. The bottom row is coal ore. Everything else above it is magenta. Also on the front, I intended on that uh, being all magenta. No coal ore here on the front in the bottom. Okay. Now, next to this oak log pillar, place a magenta concrete, and then we are going to leave a two block gap and place another one. And then we are going to leave another two block gap, and you can see the pattern here. We are making, did I get that? Yep, I got that perfectly. Four windows, two blocks wide, one block apart from each other. Once we get to the end, we are going to place another oak log pillar, seven blocks in height. And then on top of all these magenta blocks, we are going to pillar these up one block below the oak logs. Again, like what we've been doing before. Connect them across the top, and we are all good with those windows on the side. Next, we are going to go to the left again, um, so we're on the left side, we just built that wall back, now we're going to the left again from this oak pillar. And this is going to be... Oh shoot. Oh wait, no, 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 okay. Take your bedrock, or sorry, not bedrock, coal ore, and going to the left, place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Coal ore, just like that. Once you get to the end, oak logs going up to the top, um, lined up with the rest of the oak logs. And then no windows on this wall, it's just going to be a panel completely covered with magenta concrete, just like that. Bam. All right, now let's, let's keep going towards the back. So place coal or this time we are going to place one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then we are going to put a magenta block right next to the oak log, two block gap. And another magenta block, two block gap, another one, and another one. So, oh, five of them, sorry. We have four windows, five magenta blocks. And these are the same size as these windows. Um, they're not going to look like this, but they're just as wide. Um, oops, place one more coal ore here on the end. Right? No. No, I did get that right. Okay. And then, on that very last block, we are going to have a one block wide window, just like that. So we have a two block, two block, two, two, and then a one. On the end, oak logs again. Seven blocks in height. Now we are going to place magenta concrete up to our usual level, one block below the oak logs. We are going to place the magenta concrete across the top, although this time the one block wide window is going to stay as it is, but the rest of these 
fill in the bottom three blocks. So only the top block of the gap is going to have a window in it, just like this. That's one block uh, from the top, uh, right here on this row, that's one block. And then that one wide window stays there. All right, now we can move to the right side of the restaurant. This side is a little more basic, um, correction, a lot more basic. And all we are going to do is, with our coal ore, place a bottom row that just goes back until probably about halfway through this wall right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just doing this so we don't have to actually count it out. Next, take your magenta concrete, and on this block right here, right next to the oak, place a block. Two block gap, and another one, and you get the drill. However, after three of these windows, we are going to have two one block wide windows, just like that. And then we are going to do three more windows that are two blocks wide. I'll go over that again, in case it was confusing. So we have three two block wide windows, two one block wide windows, and these are all one block apart from each other. There's a one block wide pillar in the middle of each of these windows, and then we have three more two block wide windows. Now we are just going to build these up, like so, on all of them, and again you get the drill, we are going to connect them across the top like this and bam alright that's another wall done now we are going to do the oak log pillars on the end build it up just like that and then we are going to go back in uh, towards the restaurant place one two three four five six coal ore just like this and then we are going to do another oak log pillar seven blocks in height and then we are going to do a four block wide window, outline it with the magenta concrete, just like that. If I'm going too fast or too slow, um, I suppose going too fast would be worse than going too slow. Uh, let me know in the comments and I can uh, slow it down for you guys. Next we are going to place five coal ore going towards the back. One, two, three, four, five. Place an oak log and it should line up with our oak log on the other side which it does if it doesn't um you made a mistake that's all right just go back in the video uh find where you made the mistake and you can correct it it shouldn't take you very long uh this wall right here uh we fill this whole thing in the um spot that's five blocks wide fill that all in. Now we are going to connect this here on the back. We are going to fill this in as well. And we are just going to do a solid wall here right now. Um, I think we have two, maybe three windows and two doors here on the back. Um, we will get to those later though. All right, and then once we fill this in, um, I suppose we could go do the floor inside, and for that floor material we will be using black glazed terracotta. Here's the thing about the terracotta, um, you can place it in different directions because of the texture pack, so you can place it this way, you can place it this way, and if you place it this way, the texture gets messed up as you can see. Um, right here, um, we have two lines very close to each other. Right here, we are missing a whole line. So what you want to do is when you place it, make sure you are facing in the same direction every time. Um, it doesn't really matter your orientation within the direction, I suppose. Um, just make sure you're doing that. Also, it doesn't matter if you place it like this, if you place it here sorry if you place it on the side of a block if you place it on the top it doesn't matter just make sure that these are all in the same direction I have world edit because I'm playing on my server 
that I run. If you want to apply for the server, it is a city building server. You can do so in the description. I will leave a link to the application for that. But I'm just going to fill this in with world edit, um, keep it super simple and super easy. Again, this is black glazed terracotta. black glazed terracotta and that's all in um, don't worry about this part all right um, I have this square filled in this is the dining room area and you can also do this front entrance right here um, but don't um, don't stress about that that's where we're gonna have kitchens bathrooms manager office um, all that so I'm just going to finish filling this in right here and we are good to go with that uh, let me show you the original restaurant so you can see what I'm talking about and have an idea um, so as you can see we have the kitchen back there uh, lots of seating space um, oh I almost forgot about that I'll have to do that and then we have the bathrooms right here which we can do real quick let me just get the measurements for that and then we are good to go with that okay so the interior walls are going to remain the same as the exterior walls in uh, with the fact that we have oh shoot I forgot the coal ore on this bottom row in the back um, yeah so the interior walls are going to be the same with the bedrock Ugh, not bedrock see this is why I keep saying bedrock because this is our bedrock and this is the coal ore they are very similar but we are using coal ore um, there we go okay so like I said they're gonna be the same so right here let me just fly up it'll be easier for you guys to see right here at this oak pillar we are going to build a wall going this way uh, towards the kitchen area right here that's what that is going to be we are going to make it five blocks sticking out one two three four five and then we are going to um, extend it to the back wall next we are going to divide this in half just like this so that's how it looks from above okay next um, this part gets a little complicated. Actually, no, it doesn't. Um, ignore this. Don't worry about that for now. Um, come to this oak pillar right here on the left side when you walk in. It's on the inside of the restaurant. And build towards this side. These windows, the long wall of windows, build towards there by one, two, three, four, five blocks in total with the coal ore. And then we are going to go to the back of the restaurant by one, two, three, four, five, six. So five coming this way. Turn it and then place six more. So this is seven now in total. Next, we are going to do a diagonal going this way. I wrecked it so I could show you guys. Just like that. Do a diagonal, do another diagonal and then take it to the back wall all the way to the end just like that so that's how it should look from above super simple super straightforward not complicated at all now we need to put magenta concrete on the bathroom walls right here we're not going to do anything to the kitchen walls yet we're just going to leave those marked out we will worry about those in the next episode. So we are just going to fill these walls in. For the bathroom floor, I will be using, uh, what was it, iron ore. Yes, that's what it was. Uh, we are all finished with our coal ore, so you can swap the iron ore in for that. And we are going to do the bathroom floors with this. Just like that both bathrooms male and female or you know to unisex however however you want to do it um, just 
just like that. Awesome. It doesn't really matter though, because they're just going to be the small single bathroom is not like the, you know, one toilet, one sink, and the door locks when you walk in. Not anything like a full bathroom with multiple stalls and all that stuff. So, now that we have all that put in, this floor, the black glazed terracotta, is going to continue to this wall back here. So we can wreck all of this grass and continue, was it this way? Yeah. Continue with the black glazed terracotta just like that. At the end of this hallway, right in the middle, we're going to have a door. And then go to the left from the inside, leave a three block gap, and then place another door just like that. Emergency exit, employee entrance, and exit. All right, now that we have those, um, it's almost time to do the windows, I think. Although first, in the kitchen, we are going to swap out this floor for some stone bricks. I think I showed you guys that in the other model of the restaurant. Um, this is all going to be stone bricks in here. So I'm going to use world edit for this. And set stone bricks just like that and I'll show you guys here in a second that's what that looks like alright I'll fly up and pause here for you guys uh, just for a few seconds so that you can match everything up and once we are all set to go we can start working on the window no take out some black wool and in between all these oak logs, we left a one block gap from the top on the magenta concrete. That's because we are putting black wool in between all the oak logs. Just like this. Basically on top of the magenta concrete, going all the way around the restaurant. And it adds, in my opinion, a uh, kind of cool coloration, like a stripe going around the top it's half concealed by the slabs with the bathroom um, don't do the interior walls with black wool we're only doing the exterior um, it adds some cool it conceals half of the block so um, it, it looks it looks kinda shallow but I, I personally really like it if you don't want to do that, you can just um, replace it with either the coal ore or magenta. Both of those could look good. Or cobblestone. You know, the choices are endless. Alright. The windows do get a little complicated, so I'm going to take it slow. What we want to do, we're going to start on the side windows that are two blocks wide and four blocks tall. Take your magenta stained glass panes, and on the bottom rows of all of them, place those, and do the same thing for the second row, and do the same thing for the top row. So now we have this gap three blocks up, and that is going to be pink stained glass. Now, here's the thing about these windows. They don't change based on, like, where the window is. The pink stained glass will always be the third block above the coal ore. Always. So, let's say, for example, we have a window right here. That will be pink stained glass. And let's say we have a window right here. The pink stained glass would be here and the magenta would go like that. So the pink stained glass stays at the same level going all the way around the building. I tried to make that simple for you guys, hopefully I did. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments, you can uh, contact me on Twitter, or email me, um, either of those work I have. 
So for these front windows, it is going to be a bottom row of magenta, a second row of magenta, a top row of magenta, and then that third block above the coal ore is going to be pink stained glass. Same thing on these windows. The third block above the coal, pink stained glass. I think I've kind of made myself clear. Um, no pun intended with the glass. I promise. I'll get that block in there in a minute that I wrecked. Alright. Other way. And then we're just going to do these for all the windows. For these windows, they are one, two, three, four blocks above the coal ore, so they're going to be magenta stained glass, just like that. And then the pink stained right here, three blocks above. So I'm going to speed through the rest of these and um, show you guys what it looks like when I am finished. Okay, I've finished those, and we are actually now going to do some windows on the bathrooms. So go to the outside of the restaurant, and one block down from the magenta concrete, place two one block wide windows, one block apart from each other, just like that. Now we are going to go to the back of the building, and then we are going to go from the magenta one block over and then we are going to go one block down and wreck two blocks like that um, so it's kinda one diagonal down I guess from the oak and magenta this is all going to be magenta stained glass because it is four blocks above the coal ore and then we have two windows the first one on, this is on the back. Go to the right hand side with the oak log pillar. Leave a one block gap where that magenta is. And on the third block in, place a, um, or not place, um, clear out a space for a one by four tall window. One block wide, four, four blocks tall. And now next to the right door, we have two doors. This is the right one. Next to that, going to the right. We're going to have another window one block away, just like that. And then we are just going to do our usual pattern with the glass, pink stained, third block above, magenta everywhere else. Alright, so that is all the windows in place except for the front. I actually forget what that one looks like. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah, okay. This one's different because it looks like it's all pink stained glass, but in reality it's not. Okay, so we are going to do a four by two tall window above the door. And because it is, uh, because we're following this pattern, the bottom part of that window is going to be pink stained glass. And the top is magenta, just like that. So nothing changes with the pattern of the windows. It's just a different shape. And now, um, <clears throat> let's see. I suppose we could work on the roof. Yeah. Actually, no, uh, we're not going to do that yet. This part actually does, it. well, it not necessarily does, it can get complicated. Uh, we need black wool for this. And we are going to be building this box right here on the front. So it's super easy. What you want to do is take your black wool and go right above the one block wide windows on each side and place three black wool sticking out just like that and then we are going to curve it in like that so we make an L shape now go to the other side of it you can wreck that magenta concrete and we are going to place four one two three four 
so it sticks into the restaurant by three out of it by two and then we have that one in the wall same thing on this side one two three four and then we can connect it on the inside as well so we just made a giant rectangle and I forgot to look at how tall it is I think it's four blocks no four five five blocks okay I wasn't too far off so on all the corners place four more black wool going up just like this and let me also connect it across on the inside as well just like that to complete the rectangle and then we are just going to fill in the walls of this thing I guess I guess that's what I would call them just like this all the way to the top of the five block pillars on the corners <clears throat> all right and then once we are finished with this we can go to the bottom in the front and fill it in we can go into the front entrance area and we can also fill it in on the bottom with black wool just like this Bam. All right, so that was really simple. I don't think uh, we struggled at all. So next what we want to do, now that we have that in place, is, let's see, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do the roof. Oh yeah, we need to adjust these windows because if we look back at the original model, after I added the box, I decided to make them Oops, I decided to make these windows shorter, both the four block wide ones and the single windows on the side. So what we are going to do to do that is wreck the top row of all of these windows. Not the front though, Not this one stays, the one above the door, that stays, but the rest of the front windows get wrecked and replaced with magenta concrete, or the top row. I, I might have said the whole window, but that's wrong. Just the top row, so that's how it looks. Alright, and then once we have done that, we can start installing a roof on this thing. To do that, we are going to do a row of cobblestone slabs going all the way around the restaurant on the upper half of the top block. So the lower half of the black wool is now showing. The upper half is being concealed as we place these slabs in. And then the next part is super simple once we finish this. Um, also, I think, yeah, yeah, it just stops at the side of the rectangle. You don't have to bring it around on the front. Uh, it just stops on those sides. And then we just fill um, or place cobblestone slabs on the top of the black wool going all the way around just like this and then if you can tell by the um, original restaurant model we just fill in the uh, top part or I guess this part I'm not really sure how to describe it we fill in the ceiling with the slabs, just like this. And we will add an interior ceiling um, here in the next couple episodes. I'm not sure exactly when. Probably when we do the interiors, it would make sense. Um, that way we don't have any weird lighting issues um, with how light gets through slabs and all that stuff. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use world edit for this, um, that way we can speed things along. And then we might actually be done for the episode. I'll have to double check everything, but I think we got it all. Alright, let me get this real quick. Awesome. Bam! So that's how your roof looks, or should look. 
it, this is how your roof will look once you finish putting these slabs on. All right. Um, oh, we are not quite done. First of all, on the inside of this, we'll take out some... Uh, what is it? Is it polished? No. Wait. Take out some regular diorite slabs. Not polished diorite, regular diorite. Come to the inside of the black rectangle. And on the lower half of the top blocks, place a diorite roof, just like this. So it kind of sinks down, gives it a little more depth, a um, little more shape to it, just like that. Alright, and then the final step for this episode is to take some birch planks, or sorry, not planks, birch slabs, and go to the left side of the restaurant above all of the two block tall windows place a row of birch slabs do the same thing on the other side on top of all those windows including the single wide windows place birch slabs same thing here on that four block wide window right there birch slabs however on the back of the restaurant leave that empty did i do it on the side no, I did not. And leave this side empty. As for the front, <clears throat> we are going to do a row of four birch slabs across the four wide window. Don't do anything here, otherwise they connect and it starts to look all weird and stuff. Alright, and then the final step right here on the top of the entrance. Do a row of birch slabs going around on the upper half of those blocks. And then fill in the rest of that one block or one slab above that row. And that is going to do it for this video. I guess we could actually put the logo on. I just kind of came up with a um, random design for it um, with red wool. Okay. It, I guess it's almost like a W, but not really. So, um, I'm not really sure. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, hang on. I may have messed up the entrance. Yeah, I did. Okay, the entrance is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks tall, not seven. And it does not have a black stripe. Okay. All right, I messed that up. Yeah, I thought that looked a little off, a little weird, but I didn't think too much of it. So to do this, just wreck the top block, really just like that, <clears throat> and then put the birch slabs back. Nothing to it, super simple. If we're gonna make mistakes, we'll do the easy ones. How's that? All right, and then, um. I'm just going to kind of carve out this logo, and I did not line that up correctly. There we go. So I'm just going to carve this out and then back up so you guys can see it. So it's two blocks away from either side, one block from the top. And it's like a W. This is two, one, two, one, two. Alright, that is going to do it for me today. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video and you do want to see more just like this, please hit the thumbs up button. It shows me that you guys enjoy these videos and it motivates me to upload more. Please do consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. I would really appreciate it. That way you don't miss out on any of these awesome videos as soon as I upload them. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any requests or feedback on this video. I would be more than happy to hear about those, and I will try my best to fulfill requests as soon as possible. I do have a few links and um, information in the description. You can check that out. Um, I have a survey. That is the first link in the description. And then I have a server application, which is the second one. And then you can download the texture pack. I believe that is the link at the bottom. Um, there's also a video down there for how to install Optifine um, in case uh, you need 
um, a video for how to do that. It's not my video, but it's one that I find very helpful. It'll show you how to do that. Optifine is required for this texture pack to work. Um, let's see. I think that, oh, yeah, yeah, you can contact me at contactoptimisticgamer at gmail.com. My Twitter is at optimisticgmr, and my website is optimisticgamer.weebly.com. This is my design. Feel free to use it however you'd like. Uh, you know, as long as you're not making money. I mean, not that you would, but I mean, come on. That that wouldn't be cool. I I I gotta get my share, you know. Um, other than that, guys, that is going to do it for me. Comment, rate, subscribe, stay optimistic, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.